Hello and good day. My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. And in today's video, what I'd love to share with you is the importance of the anchor text. This is the link text that's associated with the backlinks, the votes that you're getting from other websites. You know, backlinks are important still, regardless of whatever anyone and everyone says. Backlinks are still very important for your success within Google and other search engines. With that being said, associated with the backlink, the vote, is also going to be the anchor text. Now, there's multiple types of anchor text, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through those different types, and then I'm going to share with you an example so you can understand much better what you need to do when you're doing your link building and how important it is to have the right anchor text pointing at your website. Again, my name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. We've updated our site. Take a look here. If you just click this button, you can see all of our services. If you're interested in backlinks, all you have to do is literally click on the backlink. The guest post is a type of backlink. Go right to our order form. There's a drop down, all different types. Have at it. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into backlinks. All right, anchor text, backlinks, the importance of anchor text. So first and foremost, what I wanna share with you are the different types. So let's go over to the trusty whiteboard so I can share these different types with you. All right, so let's get in here. First and foremost, I wanna point these types out, all right? So let's start with the generic. All right, so there's generic. So generic could be visit or click here right? Click here. It's a generic anchor text. Visit, click here, click now, buy now. Generic. Generic also means there's no value being passed, right? Or very minimal value, if, if almost any. The anchor text is that important, all right? It passes juice, but not as much as some of these others. Now, what we want to talk about is branded, all right? So you have branded anchor text. So branded anchor text is, let's just say, for instance, chrispalmer.org. So Chris Palmer as an anchor text would be a branded anchor text. This is powerful and it's trusted. All right. So you're not going, to, not only does it pass dominance, because remember, if you have a website, you, the objective is to make your brand name synonymous with the services that you provide. For instance, Chris Palmer, I want to be synonymous with SEO, local SEO, right? So this is why I'm starting to build my brand name up. And the other anchor text that I would build in would be SEO, Chris Palmer and SEO. It's another way for Google to start understanding who I am, what I do and what my business stands for. All right. Starting to you see the picture here? So next though, this is branded. This is powerful and trusted. This is little value. All right. Then the next types of backlinks are going to be, so we have generic, we have branded. Then there's what is called naked. So if I'm chrispalmer.org or the store address is this, seo.chrispalmer.org, this is a naked URL. All right. In my opinion, this is one of the, not only the safest, but also one of the most powerful. Why? Because I get credit for the words that are inside the anchor text. So if I'm utilizing my URL, not only is naked going to be safe because it's a naked anchor text, but I'm also getting credit for the words. So let's, let me just share with you a little advanced strategy here and why I love these. Because let's say for instance, that you are a personal injury lawyer. Let's say that you are law.com forward slash personal injury lawyer. Okay. Okay. See, so now not only am I getting credit for, and then remember this HTTPS www dot, not only am I getting credit for my brand name law.com, right? But I'm also getting credit for personal injury lawyer. It's like I'm building the two most powerful types of links branded and exact match directly to the page that it's about, right? I'm building not only that relevance and that synonymousness between businesses like, Hey, I'm a personal injury lawyer. I'm law.com and I do personal injury. I'm able to get two for one is basically what I'm getting at. And the best part is, are these links here, this type of link, a naked anchor is considered the safest. So I'm getting double credit and it's safe. 
It's one of my favorites, right? So with that being said, we have generic. So that's visit, click here, little value. Branded is your name, very powerful and trusted because you, you want to be synonymous with your services like, like we mentioned. Naked is just the URL, just like this is my store URL or like our example here, we included the brand name plus a primary keyword to power up a specific page. Then on top of that, you have exact. All right, so exact match is exactly how it sounds. If I want to rank for a truck accident lawyer, right? Then I would build truck accident lawyer. That's an exact match. Now, or you could do a uh, lawyer. If I want to rank for it, this would be a partial, right? So a partial match. If I want to rank for truck accident lawyer, if I were to send lawyer as an anchor text to a page, that would be a partial. It contains the keyword, but not exactly. Now I'll give you one more and then I'll share with you a quick example of why this is so powerful and why it's important, all right? So when we're taking a look here, another powerful thing that I see top, you know, SEOs doing, right? In order to maximize value, what they'll do is they'll do a mixed, all right? And you might see this in your backlink profiles. You can go and check if you've been working with an SEO company, right? And what you'll see is you'll see like law.com as the example, that's our example from above or chrispalmer.org. And then they'll do this. Then they'll do lawyer attorneys uh and then let's just say orlando right this way i'm able to get credit for multiple keywords that are inside the anchor text right this right here is mixed this is advanced all right generally you're not going to see this unless you're working with an seo company because they might understand these concepts generally what you're going to see is generic branded and exact all right and you might see some of this now let me share with you some examples all right. The tool that I'm showcasing with you right now is called SEMrush. SEMrush is a third party tool for evaluating not only content and keywords, but also backlinks. But it's, you know, there's a lot of options out there. It's just what I'm using. As you can see up here, I use them all, right? But SEMrush, I have to say, is one of my favorites. All right. But I, I have no skin in the game. It's just what I'm using. All right. I like to make that very clear. With that being said, what we're looking at here is a competitor. I just pulled a lawyer out of the air uh, for the people. What I'm looking at here is the anchor text. So remember, they built referring domains. Backlinks and referring domains are separate, okay? A backlink, you can have a thousand backlinks, but it's only one referring domain because it came from one website. But a thousand referring domains, very powerful. With that being said, we're looking at backlinks here for the anchor text. And as you can see, this is a huge law firm. I'm not associated. This is just an example. Okay. But what I'm sharing with you here is lo and behold, one of the largest law firms in the United States, arguably one of the best, right? Have budget to do whatever they want. Take a look. They're using branded and gee, who would have thought naked? and a little bit of generic, but then again, naked again. This is empty, this is usually automated tools, this is generic, and this is their brand name, right? So now you can start to see the power. Branded, naked, right? They're not just sending in a bunch of anchor text with the primary keyword. Yes, that's powerful, but if you scroll down, you will start to see that, right? Like attorneys near me. You see some of this but it's overly aggressive towards branded or naked. Why? Because it's safe and it's powerful. And this is a great example of that. Let me share with you what I mean by this. Let's just take a look at, let's just go out to a SERP. Now the example that I wanna share with you, and by the way, SERP is search engine results page. The example that I wanna share with you is this. If I search for car, uh, car, accident lawyer. All right. Let's say Los Angeles. G-E-L-E-S. All right. Now we know that the top performer is going to be utilizing a lot of brand. They're going to be using a lot of naked and maybe sparingly amounts of exact match from their most powerful backlink sources, right? If you're going to send in an exact match, make it really count, right? Because it's risky. It could cause risk for the website. But if you scroll down here, all right, let's just go to page three, all right? 
bottom of page three. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and take this particular website. And let's see, because they're ranking, you know, the bottom of page three, you know, they're on their way. They could be working towards it, but let's see the differences. So naked, a lot of brand, right? And some generic. Now let's see here. This guy's not ranking as well, right? Or is for as many keywords. Now, what do we see? A lot of, a lot of generic. In fact, generic is their top anchor text. The problem with generic is it doesn't give any context to the content. So they're not really saying, they're not really telling Google, hey, this vote comes from this website and it says that this site is about this. That's what anchor text is. It's saying, hey, this is a vote and here's what it's about, right? If you're just building this kind of stuff here, visit website here. Google thinks that your website is about visiting a website or here. Yes, this is starting to get into the branded, but their top anchor text, their top anchor text is generic. When you take a look at a top performer, their top anchor text is brand and then naked. See the difference? And if I go look at poorer, poorer performers, it's always the case. They, they got their backlinking wrong. They got their anchor text wrong. All I'm getting at here is I don't want that for you. I want you to do the best possible. Naked, branded, be sparingly with the exact matches. Use your most powerful links very sparingly and use exact match. Or I showed you an advanced strategy to stack your keywords inside of anchor text in order to pass the most power. I hope this has been helpful. Again, my name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. You can check out the brand new layout, the brand new store. Check out chrispalmer.org. Scroll down to the bottom. All my services are laid out. I'm not here to pitch. I'm here to help. If there's anything I can help you with, scroll down to the very bottom. Ask a question. I answer them all. If there's anything else, please reach out. And I look forward to seeing you in the next link building. Anchor text is important video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.